This is the worst bully ever. He bullies everyone at school, even the teachers. But I have a list of seven pranks and we are finally going to get our revenge. Give me your lunch money, what? nerd. No, Billy, let go of me. Ah, someone has to stand up to Billy. He's been such a bully today. Yep, that's kind of what he does, Steve. Well, don't worry, buddy, because it's time for the first prank on the list. Get Billy in trouble with the head teacher. He's talking to those school inspectors right now. And this right here is my favorite part of the school, the field. First Wait, things first, we need to distract the head teacher. I'm um, sir, I'm really sorry to interrupt your very important business meeting, but uh, I've heard that they're selling free hot dogs in the cafeteria today. Huh? Free hot dogs? Thanks for letting me know! Ah, Steve, you're a good kid. Okay, great. Now the head teacher is distracted. We can go ahead and move on with the next step of our prank. Billy is really going to regret being a bully. What have you done in mind, Steve? Watch carefully, Guido. You'll see. Oh, great job, Steve. That is such a good prank. But I've got a question. Is the head teacher gonna know it was you? I mean, you're still riding the lawnmower. Oh, well, don't worry, Guido. I have thought about that. And that's where this comes into play. Hey, Billy! Hey, Steve. What you got there? Oh! Oh, this is just my pride and joy, my brand new lawnmower, which I love very much, and I'd be very sad if some bully stole it from me. Oh, and guess what? You're never gonna have it. We'll see about that. Dude, yes, this is all, ow, all working out perfectly. Oh no, whatever am I going to do? Billy has stolen my lawnmower. <laughs> now we've just got to sit here and wait, Guido, and Billy, what is the meaning of this? What? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> Can a man not eat a hot dog in peace? That's it. I'm putting you in detention. <laughs> oh, yes. Billy's finally getting what he deserves. <laughs> exactly, buddy. And do you want to know the best thing? We still have more pranks to come, including this next one. Get Billy kicked out of school. All right, now all the tensions in this school take place right here in chemistry class. We should hear... I swear I didn't do anything. Oh, I know, Billy. You're such a sweetie. Listen, I'm gonna go talk to the head teacher. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's on her way out. See, that's the problem with the teachers in the school. It's never Billy's fault. That's why you can get away with anything. Ah, well, not today. Come on, buddy, let's go. Huh? What was that? Oh, not good, buddy. We cannot be spotted. Okay, have you got that potion? I got it, Steve. But how exactly is this gonna help Billy get kicked out of school? Ah, uh, Koi, I'm gonna have to explain a little bit later, okay? We've gotta get out of here, dude! So I really think you should reconsider, sir. I guess you're right. Let's go tell Billy the good news. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 that is quite a lot of damage. <laughs> how could you, Billy? We trusted you! that I'm going to have to expel you from the school. No! Yes! Billy, get your butt inside this car right now. Whoa, is that Billy's parents? Okay, if we can go ahead and sneak inside of their car here, then that's gonna make our next prank a lot easier. Catch Billy doing something embarrassing. Next stop, Billy's house. Holy guacamole, dude, this is Billy's house? Oh my gosh, how rich is this kid? Steve, they might hear you. I mean, how rich is this kid? We just need to make sure we're finding Billy doing something embarrassing. Whoa, wait a second. He has his own security as well? Go to your room. We'll discuss this later. Okay, Guido, the prank begins now. We've just got one tiny problem. Those guys look very mean, and they've all got guns. There's no way we're going to be able to go in through the front door unless we can figure out some way to distract them. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? On it, Steve. Yeah! Guido! That's not what I meant! Dude, that robot is insane sometimes. But at least the guards are distracted now. And now the front door should be left unguarded. Perfect. Okay, next step. We need to find Billy's room. We need to find Billy's room. Hey, Steve. Hey, buddy. Just stay close, okay? This right here must be Billy's room. Uh... Oh no, it's locked. Maybe if we can get to that balcony, we can go around and find another way into Billy's room. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, oh no! Don't worry, Steve. He's sleeping. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, so we should be in the all clear now. Uh, wait, Guido, can you hear music? Is that is that Billy rapping? What the heck is... Oh my gosh! That's right, buddy. Get this all on film. We're going to upload it to 2 you right now. Look how many views it's getting. Dude, that is so funny. Get ready. 
We're going to the beach. Oh, the beach. I guess we're going to the beach as well, buddy. We need to prank Billy's parents and place the blame on Billy. Well, Billy's dad looks very interesting, but this is good because Billy is distracted and that'll give us enough time to set up the next prank. Wait, Steve, did you rent a boat for this prank? How much did that cost you? Oh, don't worry, dude. This will all be worth it. Ah, uh, attention, you over there, the guy in the, uh, interesting pants. Your son, Billy the Bullet, uh, Billy has offered you a boat tour. It's very expensive, you know, to apologize for his bad behavior earlier. Oh, oh what a sweet young man. Oh, Guido, this is perfect. They're inside of the boat. Okay, uh, so guys, we are going to be following this route, and we're going to be heading over to the mysterious, beautiful tropical island. Very nice. Okay, buddy. Now it's time for the first step of our plan. We're going super speed. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey. We're going a little fast. Uh, don't worry. This is all part of the plan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the island coming up ahead. But we're not going that way. No, we are going all the way down here to shark waters. Stop, please. I'm too rich to die. Oh, really? Well, let's see if we can prove that theory. Look under the waves. These sharks are ready to feast. Oh, look at them, Guido. They're shaking with fear, especially with the fact that the closest land is so far away. Listen, guys, here's the deal. If you want to live, you have to throw all of your money overboard. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> ah, you see? That wasn't so hard, was it? Ah, here we go. Now you guys have a good day. Billy, what is wrong with you? Huh? What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh, it worked, Guido. They think Billy paid for that crazy tour. <laughs> oh, that was my best prank today. Let's get the heck out of here and get ready for the next one. Oh no. Did Billy's parents just call the cops? Oh, Guido, this is not good. We're locked in this prison cell and we've still got pranks on our list. And what's even worse, Sergeant Shaw is here. Ah, I hate that guy. Sergeant Shaw, Billy has been acting terribly today. I think he needs to see a hard day's work. Say no more. I'll take him and this other troublemaker along with me today. All right, boys, follow my car. You're going to see how the criminals in this city are treated. I know what you've been doing today, Steve. You're the one who's been pranking me. Oh, come on, Billy. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't be so ridiculous. Just wait until I can get my rep- Hold up, team. I've got to take a quick break. Stay vigilant. Okay, Guido. It looks like Sergeant Shaw is taking a small potty break. Now, this is actually a perfect opportunity for our next prank. Get Billy in trouble with the law. Okay, let me just do something like this. Uh, breaker, breaker, two niner, 74, seven, six numbers. This, this is Billy. I have direct orders from Sergeant Shaw to request a police helicopter at my location. Thank you. Okay, that was perfect, Guido. Now we just lock Billy inside the car. What are you doing? Wait, wait. Sorry, Billy, but uh, this is going to be pretty fun. There's my police chopper, just as requested. And now we're going to take Sergeant Shaw on a little ride. Here we go. Let's just hook on. Come on, Sergeant Shaw. Okay, what's going on? Put me down. I'm not finished in here. Whoa, hold on, Steve. This is a bit risky. How is Sergeant Shaw going to know it wasn't you? Well, that request came from that car we were sat in. And right now, Billy's the only one in there. So in the eyes of the law, it must have been Billy. Anyway, Shaw, I would love to stick around and chat, but this is where we part ways. See you around, dude. Bye. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Guido, we've only got a couple of pranks left. Let's get back to the school and let's finish them off. You. Why did you give that order, Billy? It was Steve. You've got to believe me, Sam. Now, this is probably my favorite prank to date, Guido. We are going to give everything back to the people that Billy stole from. That's right. We've got bikes. we got tech. we got clothes. All of this stuff has been stolen by Billy. So, please, help yourself. Take your stuff <laughs> back. Yay! Thanks, Steve. <laughs> You're welcome, little one. Steve! You ruined my bike! Hey, just calm down. Ow! Calm down. All right, Guido, I'm glad Billy's here because we have one final prank for him, and it's make Billy apologize. Of course, he's not going to learn his lesson if we, you know, knock him out right here on the grass. So instead, we're just going to let him tire himself out. Come on, Billy, do your worst. <laughs> That's it, Billy. Release your anger. Come on, get it all out there, man. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Guido, that looks like it worked. I'm sorry, okay? I'll never believe. Anyone ever again? Yay! Ah, 
Ah, you see, Billy? That wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, Benchverse, thanks for watching. Our brand new Guido plushies are out right now. So make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description to order one for yourself, and we will see you in the next adventure. Bye!